A Fort Worth institution says it's leaving Sundance Square. Riata has been at its Houston Street location since 2002, but the restaurant says they didn't get a lease renewal from Sundance Square management. Riata's lease ends in 2024. In the meantime, they'll be looking for a new home. You know, Riata's departure is only part of a much larger issue. Dozens of tenants have left Sundance Square in the past couple of years. The retailers who remain say the entertainment district is a shell of its former self. William Joy shows us what's behind the frustration in the heart of Fort Worth. Uh, let's do uh, purple. The week of Valentine's Day. Let's do the future. It's the busiest weekend. Dr. Marie Holiday's Flowers to Go store is at its peak. You see some stuffed animals. She opened it in Fort Worth Sundance Square 16 years ago. And this year, her dental practice around the corner turns 30. I want it to be the Doc Holiday of Sundance Square. When COVID shuttered businesses across the country, Sundance struggled. But tenants say the issues here go deep. Holiday says a management change from owners Ed and Sasha Bass months before the pandemic has left many frightened about its future. I'm not the only person who's concerned. There are lots of us that are concerned. Since the start of 2020, at least 24 tenants have left, including large anchors like H&M. Revolver Taco opened and closed before it even put up a sign. I know that it was valued by this community. Mark Daniel described Sundance Square in the past tense. It was a, a centerpiece of downtown, and it was our core. Blaming a lack of maintenance and upkeep, his law firm moved out after 35 years. I feel that the decline of Sundance Square to where it is today is one of the saddest chapters in Fort Worth history. We spoke to nearly a dozen current and former tenants who shared concerns about management, including lack of upkeep and increased parking costs, like replacing free valet with validation to one that cost $21 for 90 minutes. The other tenants we spoke with all declined interviews over fear of retaliation. The most common complaint is that communication is lacking and often combative. Riata Restaurant and Anchor Tenant echoed those thoughts today in a press conference saying they're leaving and still haven't gotten a meeting with management. It's a, a fight that's not even necessary when you are so used to compromising and having conversations. Sundance Square management denied a request for an interview and didn't respond to repeated calls and email questions. 40 years ago, the Bass family created 35 blocks Sundance Square, constructing new buildings alongside renovated historic ones. The Central Plaza opened in 2013. It was hardly a place to stand in that, in that plaza. It was energy on steroids. Whit Smith was one of the many packed in the plaza that day. His HR business is in nearby city center. There is no more energy. It is, it is a shell of what it used to be. Other parts of Fort Worth have bounced back stronger from COVID. This shows how much better or worse alcohol sales were in 2021 compared to pre-pandemic 2019. During the COVID winter surge, the stockyards in Sundance were similarly down, but that gap widened, with the stockyards outperforming 2019 sales last year by 48%, while Sundance was an average of 4% worse. It's sad for this community. I don't think it should be in the state of right now. We don't feel like we're getting support. Holiday says her emails to Sundance are blocked and her calls aren't answered. And after 30 years, she may have to move out. It feels terrible. I am so disappointed. Where is the integrity in this organization? Sundance Square was the vibrant heart of downtown just a couple years ago. Get it fixed. This is a mess. It's an embarrassment to this city. What happens to Fort Worth if the square goes silent? In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.